How much is your Minecraft game, mate? What, sorry? How much is your Minecraft game? Uh, just that one there. Which one? Yeah. Figures, figures. Just, uh, just a quid. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cheers. Yeah. You got any others? <laughs> Uh, I don't know, to be fair. Okay, no worries. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, grab this for you. <coughs> no. Uh, no, I am. Any Lego on at all? No, no Lego. Can't get rid of that. That's it. There you are, Lovely. cheers. Thank, Thank you. you. Lovely. How much? Uh, just a game. Got a game from here. Yeah, a Minecraft game for a quid. Right. And this guy kindly gave me these. Oh. She said his grandkids oh, watch me on YouTube. Oh, Proper cool. nice. Yeah. Proper nice of him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's come up to me before and said, oh, my grandkids watch you. And then, yeah, he's uh, come with some games amazing, today, bless him. It's mad, isn't it? I don't know how anyone's found me. Cause it's it... about. I think it's because everyone's on here all together. Yeah. And, uh, it's interesting what the people are doing, aren't you? It's well, mad, isn't it? Yeah. Have two CDs? I'll bring them all next time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you Cheers. Another week, more slim shady. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's greasy. Yeah, sorry. It's, it's, it's off that one, it's yeah. off the top one, isn't it? I didn't realise it. Oh, you're all right, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah. Carry a bag for you. A few, but you don't get as many bags. I know, this paper. is it. Oh, I have one, but he took it back to the car. It was some green painting and stuff in. Yeah, that makes a lot of fun. Whose one is that? Do you know? Do you know which one it is, or is it like a standard one? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's I know it's like obviously Harry Potter, but. Oh, right, does it not have like a name or anything? I was wondering if it says whose wand it is. Did you have to for it? Yeah, five Fiverr. Oh, wow. Yeah, go on then. Yeah, it's cool, that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, all football. Yeah. So, you've been to Harry Potter World then? No, it's Andrea's daughter. Oh, okay. Yeah. You got change for ten? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Is that anything like the movie, that Battle Royale? Um, Is it like yeah. basing it at all, or? It's the movie. Alright, cool. Just have a little look. How much did you have on that one? Uh, two pound that one. Okay, thank you. You got any Resident Evil pops at all? No. Okay. What, you're saving ones? What, ones? Oh, I just picked up Harry Potter one, that's all. Sure. <laughs> who's, who's that one up? Yeah, can I take that one, mate? Yeah. Two quid, yeah. I'll just stop. Can you line, please? please? How much are your games, um, please, mate? The PS ones are three pound each, and mm -hmm. they're four pound each. Okay. Except that one, mate, it's five. Okay, thank you. 
How much was that one, please? Uh, that one's 30. 30, okay. Came out in February. Okay. How much could you do me on them three, please? Eight. Eight. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Cheers, mate. You got changed for ten, please? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Okay. Go on, let's have a look what I missed out on. What no, colour is it? It's special. No, it's special? In this one, anyway. Are you kidding? 20 quid for all that, look. Wow. That's, That's decent. Let's have a bag. look. Yeah. Get it What's open. the stuff in his actual bag? Flipping it, let's have a look. Cross brand coat free, metal gear. There's a box Pokemon Emerald, but there's no game in it. Oh, which ones are they? X-Files, Spyro. Where's the GBA? What colour is it? Oh, it's the Game Boy Advance games. Oh, the game's oh, a cool. Yeah. Boxes in it bag. Yeah. Oh. That a minute. Mm. Flipping heck. Yeah. Well, I hope you play them all. <laughs> They're meant to be. That's decent. Mm. I don't know about this one. <laughs> no, you got some decent ones there. Takes us one game for four quid each. Mm. Cutting fee for 19. Mm. Mm. You missed a hundred pound for mm. 60 game that she had. Yeah. Of course I did. My also made two. This all from yeah. a few rows back? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Flipping heck. Yeah. Well, must have, if he got to him. I know exactly. They must have only just put them out. <laughs> picked them up? No, no. Oh, let's yeah. have a look. Cheers, mate. Yeah, nothing. I don't know if I might have that already. Yeah. Thanks, mate. How much are games, please? Pound each. Got these three, thank oh, you. Thank Cheers. You <laughs> <laughs> Not that rich. <laughs> 
I'm just a controller, mate. Quid? Quid. <laughs> Something like that. Wrong. What, what is your house going to do? I'll give it. Yeah, I was going to say, we've got so much around here. Then you can keep oh, it back on bad. I'll just sit on there. Put this here when it comes back. You're going to have ideas. No, 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 no. This what, sorry? Ghost Recon. Which one's that? Oh, can I, yeah, that as well. How much uh, was you after for it? Um, three quid each? Yeah. Are oh, they just normal DS? Yeah. Oh, is that all you've got? I think so. Yeah? Alright, thank you. Just have a quick look here. Do five for both? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Let's get the money. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you. Now then, guys, what is going on? And welcome to the latest Cabot Video Game Hunting and Pickups video. We've got quite a cracker of an episode, I reckon. We've got quite a few nice things for the collection in this one. So let's crack on with it. So a couple of eBay items. Um, let me show you first. I got this. It's a Harry Potter wand. I got it for a fiver. Because I looked on eBay. They looked to be going for about 20-ish, I think. Um, I did. Ugh, there's, there's so many types of them. I did have a look. It looked to be between 20 and 30. But I think I may get about 15 to 20 if I'm lucky. I'll have a look. So I've seen a few in the sold listings and they've been between 15 and 20. So it is like an official one, official Warner Brothers, whatever. But I didn't know if you got it from like the studio tour, if you got it online. I searched these numbers because it's got 643 there, 6432. But I searched it like on Google and it came up with Noble Collection. It's like a website. And um, I believe they're about, I'm sure they're about... 37.50 like in dollars i'm sure that's what it said when i last looked um i'll fire a screenshot on screen if i can find one it was just a fiver and i thought there's money to be made in it so i thought i'd grab it so i believe this is harry potter's wand in the noble collection so it's already nice it's in the box and all that i am a harry potter fan but obviously there's money to be made in this so i wouldn't mind um you know selling this on um yeah it is uh, I, I was looking for that i was looking for that that tm sign there you can just see it there we go just there just to make sure it was official because i was looking at um, an ebay listing earlier so yeah apparently this one it is harry's wand that i've got um they said they got it from the studio tour um the people who sold it so they could have either got it from the tour or it it is online but either way it's official anyway because it's got warner brothers and all that jazz on it it's all legit and all that so yeah i'll be firing that on ebay and hopefully we can make a bit of profit towards some retro games this was really unusual you know um i love my horror stuff guys this is a jason mask <laughs> jason Voorhees from the friday the 13th movies or otherwise you could call him the the guy out of splatter house because he, he basically looks like looks like this he literally has like a mask like this similar um yeah i looked at the brand on the back and it is called nemesis now now there's no sold listings on ebay but there's a few of these these exact ones nemesis now branded that are listed between 30 and 40 pounds but the thing is though they've not sold so that doesn't mean that they're worth it so for now I've popped it on eBay for twenty four ninety nine or best offer. I don't know, you know, roughly how much it should go for, whatever. Um, I didn't want to, like, you know, not make 
hardly anything on it by just sticking it on an auction because you never know what it's going to end at. But like I say, did it at that and I've done a best offer. I've had, a, um, I think it's one or two people watching it because it tells you how many people are watching the item. And uh, you're allowed to like send them an offer. So I've sent both of them an offer of 20 99 just to see if they, they say anything or a uh, counter offer or whatever. So, yeah, I'm looking at obviously just selling it just to make a nice profit. Um, I got it for just a quid, so absolute bargain. Couldn't leave that behind. It um, Yeah, it took my fancy straight away. <laughs> it caught my eye. So, uh, yeah, lovely horror Jason mask there. I think it can hang up as well because it's, it's got a little hang tab thing there. So it can hang on the wall and stuff. So, yeah, it looks like to be a decent quality mask, this. Um, while we're on the subject of horror, shout out to my uncle Charles. He's literally the king of like horror, king of books, movies and everything. He loves his gaming as well. Um, he kindly gifted me this book because he's already got um, a hardback copy. So he gave me this other hardback copy he got. I believe he got it quite cheap in a charity shop. And um, yeah, he already owns this himself anyway. So this is The Backman Books by Stephen King. He used to refer to himself as Backman. Nice little fact, that rage one. Um, it's about a kid who, like, I think he, I don't know if he shoots up his school or, like, he massacres people in his school or something. I know that's, like, mega violent for me to just come out with. But I like reading my horror stories. And, um, yeah, The Long Walk's meant to be good. All of them are literally meant to be really good. It's a nice little compilation. Um, so, yeah, Chaz recommended it to me in the first place. And he told me about Rage being, um, like, banned kind of thing. It genuinely got banned. So, uh, yeah, it's really nice to... Uh, yeah, that's the little description. A high school teenager becomes a gang of one in a terrifying display of rebellion. Now, I don't know what sparks, obviously, his rage, literally. I don't know what sparks that madness. But, yeah, uh, you can see, obviously, if you wanted to read the little things of what the other ones are, the other stories. So, I know it's not gaming related, but I like to throw things in, cool things that I pick up, um, you know, for eBay or whatever, or for the collection. Um, this is for my collection, of course, I'd never sell it. Chaz said to me, he even said, don't sell it, whatever you do, because it's going to go up in value in the future. Because um, the hardback ones are worth a little bit as well. I said, of course not, I won't sell it because it's a gift and I've wanted it anyway. Just not come across it on my travels. So, really nice book to get stuck into. It'd be really cool. Oh, guys, to continue the car boot pickups, this one I didn't have to pay anything for, didn't go to a stall. I was just literally innocently walking around and I was approached by this guy, this older gentleman. He said hi before and he said, oh, my grandkids watch you on YouTube. And I was like, oh, I was like, man, it's crazy. I don't know how people locally find me or know who I am or anything. I don't know how they know about my channel. I don't know how people have found out. I don't know if it's word of mouth, whatever, but um, a lot of people then... Um, a few of the other um, booters who I talked to at my local, um, yeah, they, they're basically... A few of them clicked on because they see me with a GoPro, so they think I'm some kind of YouTuber. But, yeah, God knows how they even find me. But, yeah, it's an absolute honour to be recognised and everything and to meet new faces. It really is. So, yeah, this older gentleman, he said to me... Um, he'd already said hi on a previous occasion quite a while ago. And then he saw me again and he said, he said uh, oh... Me and my grandkids, we found these games and, um, you know, we want we wanted to give you them. His grandkids weren't with him, but, um, yeah, he, he just said, uh, yeah, they love your YouTube and they love watching you. So, yeah, they, they found these games and they wanted to give them to me. So they are a couple of Game Gear games. We've got Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. I've got that on the Mega Drive, so... Yeah, I've not got any Game Gear games like, up until now, so it's so nice. So nice, man. And then... Sega Game Pack 4-in-1. So, judging by that, there's, a, there's at least football and tennis on there. I don't know what else is in there, but it's 4-in-1. So, yeah, he just kindly gifted me these. And uh, also a little um, case, Game Gear cart case as well. So, yeah, he just literally gave me these. He was like, if they're no good to you, just bin them, whatever. They will most certainly not be getting binned, mate, honestly. I'm honestly so grateful to receive these. Like, it's an absolute honour. It really is. Like, I've said to people before, like... When I even start my YouTube, I, I thought I'd have, like, no friends or anything. It's unreal, the community I've met. So many nice people out there. And, yeah, you know, to just give me these games for free. Like, didn't catch his name, but thank you so much if you see this video. And, 
yeah um if your grandkids are watching i'm sure you guys might be thank you so much for the games i absolutely really appreciate it thank you guys i also picked up as you would have seen on the footage um you'll appreciate this damien g unit my brother g, -g, -g, -g unit respect man um i know you love it when i pick up the eminem albums and uh yeah i literally find them like pretty much every week it's crazy um and i am starting to obviously I've like collected quite a lot of them now um because i'm just after like all of his albums he's like literally the only artist where i'll just collect all their albums and stuff and then i do make a few exceptions i just love them um, collecting them for in the car really playing playing the cds in the car and um, so yeah i picked up i'll show you a picture on screen of it eminem recovery that album um yeah it's it's actually in my car right now so i apologize don't actually physically have it to show you guys but yeah a picture on screen we'll have to do right now because it's in the car i've been jamming to it so yeah i picked that up i think i'm sure it was just like 50p it was either 50p or a quid something like that so yeah really nice towards the m&m collection there are some really nice people out there such kind people and um, it makes me so grateful that youtube brings me to these kinds of people so nice man so yeah on to the next pickups um really nice stall um of full of like manga anime stuff bit of games bit of unusual stuff um yeah i've seen the the guy here before um there's a couple of guys who like do this store so found a few things and i kind of got them in a nice little bundle the first thing i saw was a book and it was battle royale now i don't know if you guys have seen the movie i'm sure it is still on netflix i'm sure it's on netflix please search battle royale it's freaking great it is subtitled but honestly subtitled movies like if they're good enough they just do not bother me at all so this is like the first time it's available in the english language like it says um oh it's incredible it's basically like a a class full of kids um i believe it's in japan yeah let me just read a little bit off the back because it, it explains it better than my just random words and whatever so class of junior high school students taken to a deserted island where as part of a ruthless orphan oh hang on a minute authoritarian program they are provided arms guns and everything and forced to kill each other until only one survivor is left standing it is unreal it's so cool um yeah i know it sounds mega violent and everything but um i do recommend it um if, if you can handle a bit of violence and just just such a cool concept it really is so uh yeah i've basically found the book of that and uh looks to be quite pricey like when it first came out um fifteen dollars 95 cents in the usa 22.50 in canada so um yeah he wanted just i think it was like two quid he wanted for this which is awesome so i'll show you what else i got with this book so i put it to one side um he had a few ps1 games nothing really stand out but there's a game that i've been wanting for quite a while it's a pinball game it is kiss pinball i do love kiss i really do so that'd be awesome to see what the pinball game's like i imagine it should be pretty good hopefully a fair few songs on the soundtrack so it's all nice and complete and everything fairly decent condition and only very minor surface scratches whatever on the disc so it's, it's all really nice that um i think he might have wanted i think he wanted like three quid a game i think so got that as well and then the last one it's a gamecube game which you don't see much of at the car boots and it is a, an exclusive game so that's obviously what drew me to it and i do love my football games anyway this is virtuous striker 3 what is it the 2002 so version 2002 that is so yeah i've not played it i don't know if it's any good or anything but as you know for the um for that generation of consoles um when this was out ps2 is like my main one to like collect everything for but then the gamecube i will collect the like more exclusive games and then obviously uh the og xbox i'll collect that exclusive game so anything with the only four on i do take a look at and i will pick it up so yeah looking forward to trying that out i will try that out at one point I, I don't mind experimenting with my football games and trying all the different ones out i like to appreciate the retro ones as well so yeah um it totaled to eight quid i said to him what could you do on him he said seven quid so I, I really thought that was fair enough to be honest not bad games really and you know that book as well because uh, that's got to be worth a bit more so yeah really nice book for me to read as well i do I do like a little bit of reading. I read like my gaming magazines and stuff, and then the odd book. Um, 
you know, when I find things like this, as long as I'm interested in them, I don't mind reading it. So, yeah, really nice little bundle there. I was really happy with them. All for the collection. Um, we've got a few more things for the collection, but a few CEX fodder here. This was a bargain. I saw this, um, it was literally in a guy's, uh, I don't know if it was like the boot or the door. Um, I, I think... Might have even been on the back seat or something like that. And, uh, yeah, he'd not even opened the door or anything. But you've got to be quick. You've got to jump on these, like, at my caboot. And I just said to him, I said, oh, can I just have a look at that game, please? So this is the only game he had. He had Minecraft Story Mode for the Xbox One. And I remember checking it at the time. It's all, uh, all nice and everything. So I said, how much do you want for it? And he said, a quid. So I got it for a quid, which is an absolute bargain. Checked at the time and um, CX gave a tenner for it. So hopefully it's still at that value because it wasn't too long ago when I picked this up. So obviously I've been waiting to do these pickups videos and then I will be trading in some CX fodder. Uh, so yeah, really nice. Literally nine quid made off that. So that was that was a steal for a quid. That was really good for a quid. Really happy with that. Um, this next one, uh, I think I bought it on its own. You know, I can't remember. You know what? I can't even remember if I got these two games for a fiver. Really can't remember, guys, without looking at the footage. My memory is foggy right now. <laughs> Pick up that many things, it's hard to remember. But anyway, the games are... This one is for my collection. I don't have this. Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. So that looks pretty decent. So on the back, it says football, golf, and then there's like the 100 and 110 metres... Long jump, javelin, archery, boxing, ooh, BMX, beach volleyball, gymnastics, swimming, all that lot. So really nice. All nice in there. I don't know if it had like a, a themed manual or anything or it just came with like these kind of thing. I'm not too sure. I'd have to check that out. But yeah, grab that for the collection. Um, I don't believe it returns much anyway in CEX credit. I don't think... It's not like a high value game anyway, so because I don't have it, it'll be for the collection anyway. And also, Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands for the PS4. I'm sure I didn't buy this separately. I'm sure I might have got both of these for a fiver or something. I could be completely wrong. But anyway, let me just check the CX value. It'll be two seconds. Okay, so I've just checked and this returns a tenner. Not bad at all. So there's a nice little profit to be made on that as well. So that is a tenner trade. Really nice. And then these last few, um, they were just a quid each, and I believe two of them are for the collection, but I could already have one of them. Not too sure, my memory's getting foggy now when it comes to my 360 games sometimes. Um, really can't remember if I've got it or not, but I picked it up anyway, just because definitely need it for the collection, because I'm a big fan of these games. And then the other one is for CEX, so I'll show you the cex -y one. Of course, <laughs> Minecraft Xbox 360. I believe it has gone down in value. I think it's about three or four quid now. Nothing amazing. Yeah, I basically bought these games uh, for like a quid each. And then when I got them home, when I checked properly, they're like um, priced and everything. So I think this says two. And then I think the others said like three quid each. But yeah, um, whoever it was, they sold them to me for like a quid each. Uh, it was £2.50. That was meant to be. Check the other one. I think that was three. Oh, four. Jeez. But yeah, whoever um, but yeah, whoever sold me them, <laughs> just sold me them for a quid each. So I don't know. Um, let me just check on Minecraft. Oh wow, we're still at six quid. Not bad at all. Wow, even for the Xbox One, it is thirteen quid, and then PS4 sixteen quid. That is crazy. It's really held its value. And on um, PS3, it's seven quid. That is mad. That amazes me how much Minecraft's holding up. Six quid, guys. I underestimated that. I thought it'd gone down. Um, so, yeah, still six quid. So, I got that for a quid. Really nice. And then the other two, um, I really don't think I have this one for the collection. It's the other one that I'm doubting. So, this one is Super Street Fighter 4. Don't believe I have it. And obviously, who doesn't love Street Fighter? I'm a big fan of the Street Fighter series. I've, I'll be honest though, I've not even played like the the more modern ones. I've not even played the more modern um, Tekken games and stuff like that. It's all the old school that I've played, so I've not even got into these. I, I don't know how they compare. For me, I don't think anything will be, obviously, the retro ones. Um, but yeah, as you would have seen in my other pickups video, I picked up a Street Fighter collection for the Sega Saturn. 
absolute massive hitter for the Sega Saturn, that is. Um, £250, it cost me in CEX credit. That is literally the going rate for it. Um, even on, you know, eBay, the Facebook game groups and everything. Um, it, it, was, it was absolutely unreal condition, very minty. I was so lucky. I played the CEX roulette and won. I was so lucky with that, guys. So, yeah, um... Like I say, I'm well into my um, retro Street Fighter, retro Tekken, stuff like that, my fighters. But, yeah, I've not played the modern version, so it's nice to have it in the collection for just a quid. This one I'm doubting. Um, might have it, might not, but, you know, if not, if I if I do already have it, I'll pass it on to another collector or something, probably. Because it's not worth anything in CX credit, not really. Maybe a quid or two quid or somewhere in between, maybe 160 or something. So, it is GoldenEye Reloaded, 007... So, yeah, definitely want it for the 360, because I absolutely love the 360s, you know. Love my Xbox, little Microsoft fangirl. <laughs> but, yeah, um, you, you can't beat the old GoldenEye, and this is GoldenEye Reloaded, this one. So, yeah, really cool to have that for the Xbox, even though I might already own it. Can't remember. I'll find out once I start getting a, a shelving unit this side and start to stack the games up, because I am after another shelving unit. I've got some shelving units on that side. I need one for this side, because, as you can see kind of everything on oh, my car boot stuff it's all stacking up it's behind me what else can i do guys <laughs> but yeah that is it for this um car boot sale pickups video guys so uh yeah i really hope you've enjoyed everything hope you've enjoyed the footage and the pickups that i've made feel free to drop some comments in the section down below let me know what you like you know what you've picked up i'm always genuinely interested to know thank you as always for watching my video guys i appreciate every single one of you honestly you my motivation to make these videos so cool making these videos of you know all my collecting and pickups and sharing them with you guys it's so cool so yeah take it easy guys and i will see you in a bit happy cabo and video game content see you in the next one guys